item 3 on sheet 8321 revised, standing in my name. This amendment does three things. First, the amendment preserves the existing exemption from the Sex Discrimination Act for anything done by a person in direct compliance with the Marriage Act 1961. This is subsection 40, brackets 2A of the Sex Discrimination Act. My amendment does this by opposing Senator Smith's bill repeal of this existing exemption. Secondly, my amendment rejects the replacement exemption proposed in Senator Smith's bill. The replacement exemption is narrower than the existing exemption. The replacement exemption would only, refuse, only cover refusals to solemnise. The existing exemption covers anything done in direct compliance with the Marriage Act. This includes, for instance, a decision to solemnise a marriage on the condition that a longer notice of intention to marry is given. The replacement exemption would only cover ministers of religion, religious marriage celebrants and chaplains in the Defence Force. The existing exemption covers any person. This could include someone assisting a minister of religion, a religious marriage celebrant or a chaplain in the Defence Force. Senator Smith's bill clearly narrows the exemption from the Sex Discrimination Act. Such a winding back of protections was not in the question that was put to Australian voters. It is not what they voted for. In fact, voters were told there would be no winding back of protections. And whenever an extension of protections has been proposed in this debate, they have been voted down on the grounds that this bill should not deal with matters beyond the Marriage Act. If you do not want the existing exemption from the sex discrimination to be wound back, you need to support my amendment. Currently there is no other amendment that prevents this winding back of the existing exemption. However, at the outset I mentioned that my, uh, my amendment does three things. The third thing it does is insert a new broad exemption from the Sex Discrimination Act that would cover the same things as the existing exemption but would go well beyond that. The new exemption would cover discrimination by any person in the course of providing or offering to provide goods, services or facilities for or in connection with a marriage. This covers a wedding as well as events celebrating an engagement or anniversary. This new exemption does not cover section 26 of the Sex Discrimination Act. Section 26 states that a person who performs any function under a Commonwealth law or for the purposes of a Commonwealth program must not discriminate on the grounds of sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, intersex status, marital or relationship status, pregnancy or potential pregnancy or breastfeeding. As such, my amendment allows people to discriminate in the private sphere but does not allow discrimination by the government, which re represents us all. I do not argue that there is a significant number of bakers or florists who are inclined to refuse to service a same-sex marriage. Indeed, I do not know if there, there are any, but it is not the role of the government to dictate to such people who they must do business with. I note also that refusing to service a same-sex marriage would be an odd business decision and may well prompt other consumers to boycott that business, which they're free to do. My amendment, amendment may be more relevant to people whose line of work exclusively relates to marriages, such as wedding planners. And it could be that people will want to specialise in, in servicing same-sex marriages. It could even be that the number of people wanting to specialise in servicing same-sex marriages could exceed the number of people want to, wanting to specialise in servicing straight marriages. My, amend, my amendment does not trample on state rights. If, if people see issues with state discrimination law, the appropriate forum to address this is the relevant state's parliament. My amendment does not allow discrimination by the Commonwealth. Government represents us all and the job of public servants is to serve everyone. My amendment allows, in a limited way, individuals to discriminate in the private sphere. This will allow people, this will assist people specialising in servicing same-sex marriages as much as it will assist opponents of same-sex marriage. My amendment is modest and I commend it to the